Good morning, church family. My name is Kenna McKee, and I'm here today to do the devotion. <laughs> this is take two. I had a little porky pig action in the last video, so um, this is take two. Anyhow, um, so today we're going to be in Ephesians chapter 3, verses 19 through 21. And I titled today's message, Exceedingly and Abundantly. And so, um, because that's what God can do. Um, I once was talking to a sister and, you know, she, her husband has a lot of health issues going on and she has to go to a lot of doctor's appointments and this and that. And I was like, oh, you know, just trying to be empathetic. And she's like, you know, I just don't want to live defeated. I'm not going to live um, sad or kind of in the negative stuff. And it just kind of reminded me that's true. We don't, we're Christians, you know, we're, the battle's been won. We have a joy that is undescribable. We don't have to live defeated. And there's all these things that the Lord has done for us personally, as well as in scripture that we can count on him. You know, we don't have to live defeated. And so today I just want to encourage you all to just remember what he's doing, what he's done, what he's doing, and what he's going to do in the future. In some situations that seem kind of bleak, as we're learning through Joseph, he's got some pretty um, serious issues going on, but he still is trusting in the Lord. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and open us in prayer, and then we'll get um, reading our verses. Father, I just, I thank you that you love us so much and that you're so faithful father I, I just ask that everybody watching this video today would truly truly understand and know that love that you have for them father that you are um the om almighty father father so good in in work and deed and you just you love us so much and so i just ask that you open up our hearts to this study today Alrighty, so ephesians Chapter 3, verses 19 through 21. To know the love of Christ which passes knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. To him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. And so I had somewhere where I wanted to go. There was a couple things, just huge blessings in my life that truly the Lord has done exceedingly and abundantly over what I could ask or think. You know, I know um, if I've shared with you, if any of you remember, I think when we first, some, one of the first videos, I don't I don't know, we've been doing this, it feels like forever now, but it was towards the beginning, a couple years ago, I had stole a pin, a purple pin from the information desk. So I took a pin that wasn't mine because it was purple and I wanted it. However, I came in on the video and I confessed a while later about just, you know, uh, whatever that title was about. Anyways, I had, you know, told everybody that I stole the pen. I did replace the pen. I put the pen back. But through that confession and just feeling sad in what I did, took somebody else's pretty purple pen that they want to use. I've been so blessed by my brothers and sisters at this church from that confession that have bought me a personal purple pen so I have now so many purple pens and all of them it's as silly as it is they there's just this love for this pen that I have and not in in it being a purple pen but just the fact that I've been blessed by my brothers and sisters and the Lord as I confessed he then <laughs> comes back and does more than I it, you know gives me more pens than I can imagine and not you know disclaimer not that I'm encouraging theft in any way but just when we confess to God our hearts are right before the Lord what he can do and then just in another situation and the reason why I bring up my own personal stories is to remind us to remind you think of something that God's done some things are so far back that we kind of forget but it's it's amazing how we can forget about the past blessings but we'll focus on you know future problems instead you know and so my point in this message is to not live defeated and to remember that God's going to do exceeding and abundantly. I mean, even though Joseph had to go and live in the dungeon, be false accused, sold by his brothers, there's this, God's going to do exceeding and abundantly in his life, you know? And so 
my next thing that I just, I'm so blessed with is a couple years ago, maybe five or six years, I had uh, Susie B came up to me and asked if I wanted to work uh, with her. And I was like, oh no, I'm happy I work in Redlands. And never in a million years did I think I would be working in Hemet or Santa Ana area. I just thought, I can't, I can't move that, no. And um, although I was blessed by her invitation, I just thought, no, I can't move. And then through COVID, this horrible situation, I was just driving through the canyon one day and I just, that her asking me to come work with her, I totally forgot about. And this was a couple years later. And I thought, oh, I, you know what? Maybe I'm gonna start looking around in Hemet because just how crazy things got. I thought, I don't wanna be driving anymore. What if they shut the freeways down on us? Who knows what's gonna happen? So I had this desire to, move closer to home so uh i was gonna go looking around seeing what um rent was and stuff so i talked to her first and it just it worked out when i walked into her shop there was only two stations and now there are three and god just has worked i just I love the Bozemans so much and I love working there we play pickleball i work there i just i feel like my family unit has grown and I thought I would never want to move to Hemet, but God again did something exceeding, exceedingly and abundantly more than I could have asked or imagined in a workplace, you know? And so it's just, I, I just, um, all of this is just in, in love to my church family. You know, I have just this amazing church family that we're blessed by. And um, I just wanted to share with you guys those those things that God's doing in my life has done. And, you know, and then for a not so great um, situation right now is I've maybe expressed to some of in this um, devotion time, my oldest son, he is um, not, not wanting to walk with the Lord. And however, since July, we have not heard from him. So I wasn't sure what was going on. However, tax season came around and he needed uh, his W-2. So um, I was a, he was, he texted uh, Kenny and I. So that was a blessing because I can either sit on the lies of the enemy or I can sit on God's promises. He had to reach out. My number's not blocked for him. So praise the Lord, he didn't block me. You know, he does want to have a relationship, but just not right now. And, and you know, I can live defeated in, in the lies of the enemy and what he's doing but my God our God is stronger and the battle's been won and I know that God is going to do something exceedingly and abundantly more in Aaron's life and as I'm living through this hard season right now I can stand on these verses you know I can stand on all these verses and and just know that God's gonna work things out because God's good and not all seasons are are fun or um enjoyable but it doesn't say anywhere in this bible that our whole life is going to be about our pleasures but god does promise to do exceedingly and abundantly more than we can ask or think or imagine and so i just i encourage you guys to just kind of take a look at life around you in whatever situation whether it's a hard you know doctors or finances or health or marriages whatever and just stand on the promise that that god's gonna do what he promises regardless the road we're on right now and it might not always be in the manner we want but we know that god is good and he's going to work all things out and and just as we're going through joseph's life and sunday mornings we just have some reference you know we're not alone and so i think the the world teaches us this false lie that life is just going to be perfect and beautiful and magical and happily ever after all the time and it's not you know and that's what i love about the word of god is he never promises you can read paul's life joseph's life abraham's life you know and unfortunately a lot of it is caused by our own sin however he doesn't try to trick us and i love that so um hopefully you guys have been blessed and just encouraged to remember what god has done done and what he's doing in our lives. So I'm just going to go ahead and close in prayer and then I'll see you guys in a couple weeks. Father, we thank you that you again are so good and you love us so much, Father. I thank you that we can ask for strength in the 
in the valleys, Father, when we are heart sick, our heartache, or just um, sad, Father. But we, even in those times of sadness, the battle's been won. You're good. You're going to do exceedingly and abundantly more than we can think or imagine. I thank you, Lord, for loving us so much. In your most precious name, amen.